How to Grow Feverfew, a Comprehensive Guide Feverfew, Tanacetum parthenium, is a charming and beneficial herb known for its dainty daisy-like flowers and medicinal properties. This versatile plant can be a lovely addition to your garden while also serving practical purposes in traditional herbal medicine. In this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of successfully growing and caring for feverfew. Understanding Feverfew, Tanacetum parthenium. Feverfew is a member of the daisy family, Asteraceae, and is native to parts of Europe and Asia. It's an herbaceous perennial plant that reaches a height of about 12 to 24 inches, 30 to 60 centimeters. Feverfew is renowned for its bright green, deeply divided leaves and small, white, daisy-like flowers with yellow centers. While it's often grown for its ornamental value, it's also well known for its medicinal properties, particularly for its potential to alleviate headaches and migraines. Selecting the right variety of feverfew. Before you start growing feverfew, consider the variety that best suits your garden or medicinal needs. While there are different cultivars of feverfew, the most commonly grown is the wild or common feverfew, Tanacetum parthenium. Choosing the planting location. Selecting the right location is crucial for the success of your feverfew. Here are some considerations. Sunlight, feverfew, prefers full sun to partial shade. Ensure it receives at least four to six hours of direct sunlight daily. Soil, well-draining soil is essential. Feverfew is adaptable and can tolerate a range of soil types but thrives in fertile, loamy soil. Amending the soil with organic matter, such as compost, can improve fertility and drainage. Planting Feverfew Follow these steps to plant and establish feverfew in your garden. Planting time, feverfew, can be grown from seeds or transplants. If planting seeds, sow them directly in the garden in the spring, after the last frost date. Alternatively, start seeds indoors about 6 to 8 weeks before the last expected frost. Seed planting, sow seeds about a quarter inch deep in the soil and cover lightly. Keep the soil consistently moist until seedlings emerge. Transplanting, if using transplants, space them 12 to 18 inches apart to allow for proper growth. Transplant in early spring or early autumn. Watering and moisture requirements. Proper watering is essential, especially during the establishment phase. Watering after planting, water newly planted feverfew thoroughly to help settle the soil around the roots. Watering frequency, keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Feverfew prefers slightly moist conditions. Providing proper care. To ensure healthy growth and flowering, follow these care guidelines for feverfew. Fertilization, feverfew doesn't require heavy fertilization. A balanced, all-purpose fertilizer applied in early spring can suffice. Mulching, apply a layer of organic mulch, such as straw or shredded bark, around the base of the plants to help retain soil moisture and control weeds. Pruning and maintenance. Feverfew is a relatively low-maintenance plant, but some pruning and maintenance may be necessary. Deadheading, remove spent flowers regularly to encourage continuous blooming and prevent self-seeding. Cutting back, after flowering, you can cut back the plants to encourage a second round of blooming. Propagation, feverfew, can be propagated by division or by collecting and sowing seeds. Divide mature clumps every few years to maintain plant vigor. Pest and disease management. Feverfew is generally resistant to most pests and diseases. However, keep an eye out for aphids and spider mites, which can occasionally infest the plant. Use insecticidal soap or neem oil if necessary. Harvesting and using feverfew. Harvest feverfew leaves and flowers for medicinal purposes when the plant is in full bloom. Dry the harvested parts for later use in teas, tinctures, or herbal remedies. Growing feverfew, Tanacetum parthenium, offers not only ornamental beauty, but also the potential for natural headache relief through traditional herbal remedies. By following the steps outlined in this comprehensive guide, you can cultivate and care for feverfew successfully, whether you're a beginner gardener or have experience with herbal plants.
Embrace the charm and usefulness that feverfew brings to your garden and enjoy its delicate daisy-like blooms and herbal benefits. Happy growing!